this week's tutorial. This week I am going to do a rather quick tutorial on how to use the calendar system within Site Catalyst. Alright, so the calendar system, um, the primary way to access it is up here in the upper right corner. And you can see I have it set to September currently. And you click on it and you have this lovely little pop-up that comes out and um, the background behind it kind of grades. You can still see your reports and everything, uh, but it kind of highlights the calendar. You have a number of different ways of interacting with the calendar. One is just by clicking uh, within the calendar itself. You can um, drag uh, your uh, your mouse and uh, just select whatever time period you want. You can do any kind of time period you want. Uh, want just three days, just two days, you know, what whatever suits your fancy in terms of what's important, uh, you can do it that way. Um, or you can select a whole month, or you can select an entire year, you can select, you know, just a number of different things uh, just within all of this. Uh, and then you can look at it by month or by year. So you can even select multiple, um, multiple years. Uh, let's see. Oh, this way you only select a single year, but if you do this and you keep dragging, you can then select multiple years. So you just have to drag your mouse around and you do it that way. And uh, that gets you multiple years. Now another way of doing that is you can just type in the dates. Uh, so if you don't want to drag your mouse or if you just have specific dates and you'd rather type it, you can do it that way. So we go back to month and we just look at the current month again. And uh, you know whether you want to type it in or if you want to select it, those are those are your options. Uh, you also have presets that you can select. Um, so here are a number of presets um, that you can select, or it even gives you your most recent date ranges. Um, so if you had some specific date ranges that you used and uh, you wanted to go back and reuse them, um, the most recent ones, I think it's like the top five most recent ones, will be uh, down in here too. So if you want to reuse those, you can. And you have this year, last year, etc. So you have all of these presets that you can select from. And then when you run your report, uh, you can actually view it by uh, different granularities, um, hour, day, week, etc. Now the caveat is for like the hour one, and it actually gives you a warning here, the hour granularity can only be selected for a maximum of 14 days. So you cannot do this for more than 14 days or basically two weeks. Um, so I would need to select it that way and boom, 14 days, now I can do the hourly uh, granularity. Or I can do it by day, I can do it by week. And then once you get up to month, um, it's going to balk at you because you only have two weeks selected. Um, and so usually uh, if you're going to select anything at all, if you're going to select multiple months, so let's uh, start off here and go here, let's do three months worth here. Um, then you can view by month uh, at that point, uh, but it's, you know, it's just a single quarter and it's not really a, a full quarter either because it's, you know, bridging two quarters here. So you can do by quarter or by year, but you know what, you have to keep in mind what kind of time frame you've got selected. If you only have one single day selected, um, selecting view by year isn't going to work. So just those are kind of little things to keep in mind. So I'll go ahead and, and go back to September and uh, I'll just kind of run the report. And now you might have a question in terms of how do you do um, a comparing dates. And some reports kind of by default out of the box kind of give you that. Um, so for the page, for uh, example, page views report, you automatically, it gives you the selected months and it gives you four weeks prior and it gives you the comparison already. So you don't have to do anything in the report to give you that information. Now, if we run the pages report, this does not out of the box give you a comparison of a previous uh, time period. So uh, once I get into here, if I click on um, the calendar again, I now have compare dates up here, which did not exist before because that was already kind of by default in the report. And so here uh, we're going, it's, it's comparing September to September. Well, that doesn't make any sense. So let's compare September to August. So September's in blue, August is in this kind of an orangey brown color. And we'll go ahead and run the report. And uh, we can kind of take a look here and it shows September, August for visits, uh, August, September. Uh, so we have visits here, we have uh, page views, etc. And so you can kind of do a comparison that way. Um, but 
you know, this gets to be a little messy with as many metrics as I have in here. So I'm going to go ahead and change the metrics real quick. And I'm just going to look at visits. I'll get rid of the other two. When you're comparing dates, it's uh, important to pair um, between too many different variables. It just gets a little too messy. And so here, based on the bar graph, you can see a comparison. Um, September in green and uh, blue is August. And you can see um, how things kind of uh, worked themselves out that way. Uh, with September getting more traffic than August on uh, a couple of these pages, that kind of thing. And here you can see the different options in terms of how you can run a report and look at it with a stacked graph, um, a stacked vertical bar rather than a regular vertical bar. You can look at it horizontally or even stacked horizontally. So this kind of gives you different options in terms of how to display your comparison data. All right, so I think that covers everything in terms of how to uh, work with the calendar. Um, so if you have any questions or if you think I left something out that I should have included that I could possibly add for a future tutorial, uh, let me know in the comments below. I appreciate um, all comments and I respond to any questions that you may have, uh, as well as, um, you know, if you have any, any comments, feedback, etc., um, I would appreciate that as well. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe. And if you found this uh, video uh, helpful at all, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Thanks until next week. Take care. Bye-bye.